What is going on guys, it's your boy Steez coming at you with some awesome Black Ops 3 beta news. There's a new game mode out in case you guys haven't heard and in case you haven't played yet, it's called Safeguard. I've only played one match so far and that's the gameplay you're seeing here. I actually do fairly well for my first time playing it. Uh, I go 31 and 5 so it's a pretty cool gameplay. I do, I do decent, I do pretty good uh, and I think you guys are going to enjoy uh, watching this gameplay. So going straight into the video, let me tell you about this game mode and what you gotta do. So there's a robot that spawns on the enemy team on in their spawn and basically you just gotta kinda like you cap a flag, you just gotta stand near it and then boot it up and then once it's booted up it walks from your spawn to the enemy spawn um, and that's how you score your point. There's only one point to end a round and once you get that point then it switches sides and you gotta escort the drone or defend against it whatever side you got on first. Uh, the robot doesn't shoot you. I thought it did. So, in that little bit of gameplay you saw there uh, in the beginning, uh, you see me just taking cover, shooting that thing. I thought it was gonna shoot at me. I thought it was gonna be like the GI unit, or something like that. Uh, but it's not. So it it just stays there, and uh, it, of course it just walks towards the enemy spawn. Now to disable this thing, you gotta just shoot it. You just gotta pump it up full of all your bullets. Just lay into this thing with all you've got. But the only problem with this game mode being in the beta is nobody has scavenger. At least I don't think so. Now the level cap is 40. I think scavenger is like 44 or something like that. So nobody has scavenger. So if you just lay into this thing with your primary gun, you're going to be out of ammo. Luckily, there's a lot of guns. You can just pick up an, an extra gun, lay into it with that gun, keep your primary, or you could use the secondary. I saw a guy meleeing this thing, but I don't know how much damage that does. So you could do whatever. You could use your secondary, then pick up a gun, and then use that one. Uh, I, I did a little bit of both, uh, but ba it, it, it just does some damage. You just want to lay into this thing. And once it's disabled, the enemy team has to go and stand near it, I believe. Uh, they have to stand near it and do the whole cap the flag kind of thing they have to stand near it and reboot it I don't think it reboots by itself but if it does it just goes by a lot slower the rest of it is kind of self-explanatory uh, there's a time limit and once that runs out if you're defending then you win the round and then if you're attacking then you lose then it switches sides and you guys you guys know what I'm talking about okay now let's get into the problem that I see with this game mode so in AW yeah, it's another Advanced Warfare reference, but basically in AW when Uplink came out, that was basically, well, it was between Uplink and uh, Momentum, but it was mainly Uplink that everyone used for either high gameplays or spawn trapping, and I could see this being a, a big spawn trapping game mode, because uh, you don't, you're not going to be spawning all over the place, you're going to be spawning near the robot, and so if you can just get up close to the enemy before the robot can move very far because it's a slow moving robot it doesn't move fast so if you just push straight up you know use the um, what, what's it called the super speed ability for uh, nomad I think it is something like that uh, yeah you can use that get up close push everybody back make it so the robot can't go up farther and uh, you could just spawn trap people back there and that's a big fly I see with this game mode that is if like that is if you're one of the people getting spawn trapped if you're spawn trapping then that's a plus but it, it could go either way it's just something I see that could go wrong with this gameplay or n sorry not with this gameplay with this game mode uh, other than that this game mode is pretty awesome I I had a lot of fun playing this and once I'm done recording this video then I'm gonna go back on and play some more because I had that much fun it's it, it's something that could be in esports I think this might be another game mode that that'll be in esports because it's it's a lot of fun it's very competitive uh, everyone's in the one side of the map uh, near the end of the gameplay you'll see just a cluster of enemies coming towards us I'm not gonna spoil anything but you'll you'll see a cluster of enemies just coming straight at us because uh, you show up on the mini map where the well the the robot does and everybody's going to be where the robot is to defend them or attack them so it's just one of those really fast game modes that everyone has a lot of fun with just like uplink and momentum everybody 
well, for I liked him. I don't, I can't speak for everybody, but I'm I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that, that enjoy this game, this game mode, uh, especially just because it's the fast-paced kind of game mode where everyone's straight at each other, just head to head. Uh, it's awesome. That's that's all I gotta say. It's really good. I like it. All right, now let's talk about the gameplay a little bit. Uh, in in this gameplay, I'm using my best class setup for the HVK. I think the only thing that changed is my kill streaks, uh, and I'm using the care package, which I highly recommend, just because not everything is unlocked. And I think you can still you have a chance of getting the mothership. I think so. I'm pretty sure because it's in the game. You just can't unlock it. I haven't gotten it yet, so I don't know. But I think you can. Like you should be able to. Uh, but yeah, also the Vulcan and uh, the Hater. The Hater is really good in this game. I like it. It's almost exactly like the VSAT. It, it's amazing. It's really good. Uh, I suggest you use those three kill streaks uh, as well, just because they're they're they good. They go hand in hand together. They're really good. But obviously, I can't only be using that gun because. Uh, it's so fast paced. I'm running out of ammo so quickly and you just got it's one of those game modes You got to pick up a gun every couple like every minute every couple seconds ish Because uh, you're running out of ammo incredibly fast, so you just got to do your thing You'll also be seeing me using the rejack ability, which I still think is insanely overpowered and uh, Watch another YouTube videos everyone seems to think the same thing that this is really overpowered and it, it needs it needs a nerf pretty bad but then again it is really fun to use so i'm liking this game so far uh let me know what you guys think like are you guys liking it because so far with all the like weird kind of lag issues and can't find a match and then everything's super powerful or something like that um i i think it's pretty good so far and when like i trust when the actual game comes out that it, it's going to be one of the better CODs that have been released uh, in a long time at least. Uh, I didn't really care for Ghost that much. AW I thought was pretty good. But I think this one, uh, it, it could easily be on the top charge just because I, I believe it's that good. And this beta is helping out uh, a lot with finding all the, all the small issues that uh, can be resolved before the game comes out rather than after the game comes out. So we're coming to the end of the gameplay here. You get to see me pull this cheeky little uh, move and lie down and use my Talon. I think that's what it's called, the Talon. And you see here what I was talking about earlier, how everybody's rushing out this door trying to stop us from scoring. Sadly, I get shot down just as the game ended. But uh, if I didn't get shot down, I could have had a lot. I, I could have had a crazy multi right there because everybody's rushing out of that door. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Let's try to hit 15 likes again on this one. Uh, we almost hit it on the last video. We still got a chance to. Uh, so let's try to hit 15 likes on this one. And remember to subscribe for more awesome content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay steezy.